Hey guys, this is Zeth. Welcome back to TerraFormerCraft. As always, I'm your host, and I have not done too much. I was planning on running home, but I found these blue orchids, and, well, they look pretty cool. And I know they're supposed to be somewhat rare in vanilla. At least I thought they were. I know they're supposed to only spawn in swamps, and, I mean, this doesn't feel overly swampy to me, but, eh, I guess I'm not going to complain any more than that. <laughs> I'm also thinking I might actually end up trying to live elsewhere than where we were looking at originally. But, I'm not sure yet. Either way, I'm going to need to do some little bit of uh, organizational work before I start the episode proper, so I will see you guys in a short while. Oh, hey, strawberries! Can't complain about those. I'm gonna need a little bit more room though. So, I've got some good news for you guys and some really, really bad news. The good news is if you like the, or if you did not like the previous base, well, we're not gonna live there. The bad news is I have no idea where that base went. <laughs> Thankfully, we didn't actually put down any roots. I also, was walking around and found this. I'm actually not even sure what ore that is. I think that's going to be tetrahedrite, but we're not going to be able to tell for probably a little while yet. Mostly because I don't have a prospector's pick and I don't have, you know, a normal pick either. Although we might be able to find out based off of what's above it. Oh, oh! Ooh, ooh, that's some gold, I think. Okay, so, other bit of good news is I did find a replacement spot to live, and that is here. I'll show you guys where I actually plan on setting up after a moment, but I wanted to take a little bit bigger, better look around at my surroundings. I've also got my bronze mixture all ready to go for whenever we are ready to make it. What is this? Hmm. Gosh, I need a pick. <laughs> There's so many things that I'm just like, I have no idea what they are. Ooh. Pink tulips. Little ravine. Huh. The one thing we don't have at this area yet is fresh water, which I really... I've said before, and I guess I gotta say again, I really need it. Ow. And hopefully we'll find some somewhat close by. That definitely was one advantage of the other base. I think this is Galena. I'm gonna guess that's the same. Which I'm okay with picking up, I guess. There's nothing wrong with Galena, it's just, well... There's plenty wrong with it, it's useless right now, but... Oh, hey, silver. Cool. <laughs> well, whenever we get our pick, we get to... We get to make some black bronze, it looks like. Which is mostly copper, but also needs 10 to 25% silver and 10 to 25% gold, I want to say. I definitely do not have an Excel spreadsheet open on my other screen or anything like that. That'd be silly. <coughs> okay. Um, yeah, that's silver. Still need some of that water stuff, though. Got plenty of salt water, but none of the good stuff. I see quite a few things here that I'm pretty intrigued by sheep down there and looks like some water over there. I'm hoping that'll be fresh water, but at the very least we have those sheep, which that's really nice to have. <laughs> There's been quite a few times where, I mean, not having sheep is kinda sort of leading to your death. <laughs> Speaking of leading to your death, is there any pleasant way down here? Here's another ore. 
this this might be silver based off of the little ingots down or um or nuggets down there that would be amazing having both gold and silver in the area <laughs> I'm getting excited for this house this is gonna be a really good spot I think and if this is silver <laughs> Then it's actually <laughs> gonna be the first silver I've found in Minecraft. And so far, the only thing I haven't found on the surface for black bronze is going to be the copper. But beyond that, this is gonna be amazing, I think. Okay. Oof. Down at ground level. Let's run on over there. If this is fresh water, I am going to be so happy. Are you fresh? You are fresh water. Welcome home, guys. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get this stuff cooking. Got this up here. It's 18 tetrahedrite and two cassiterites so that it is roughly a nine to one ratio for normal typical bronze. I've got a saw, a pick, and a prospector pick in there. And over there was casts for ingots. Where's that skeleton? Right there. And now I just need to get a little bit more wood to actually start the fire. And of course get to wait for it. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. Awesome. Got enough. <laughs> Figured I was going to have to cut down a couple extra tre extra trees or something. <sighs> Kill me now. <laughs> Ow. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Get this on fire. There we go. Don't need a 90% broken one anymore. Alright, you're right up there. Let's get something that's actually going to do damage to him. Now, skeletons are very nearly immune to piercing damage. I don't actually think they... I'm not actually entirely sure they take any damage from piercing. So daggers and actually most ranged... All ranged weapons are pretty much useless against them. Slashing damage is a little bit better, but crushing like this hammer right here is the best. Die, die, die. Come on. Please die quicker. Die quicker. There we go. <laughs> Whew. I was almost a little scared we weren't going to get him that time. Well, I got arrows all over my face now. Okay. Now, next thing. We're going to need a lot of thatch for this, I do believe. I have... I've been coming up with ideas for this house off camera. <laughs> I actually took a bit of a break. Not a couple days or anything like that, but just an uh, hour or two. Just trying to come up with decent ideas for what I want the house to be like. I still don't have any concrete ideas, but I'm thinking the starter part is going to be up there at the very least. And I think I'm going to build parts of it at the very least out of... Hmm... Probably out of Aspen, because that's what I've got around here mainly. It's definitely not my favorite kind of wood, but it, it works still. And I think thatch for a lot of the other parts for there is going to be what I do. I would have just made it out of all thatch, but we cannot do that anymore. <laughs> Which I'm still not 100% sure about how I feel about. It's definitely kind of a nice idea, but at the same point, it's... I don't know. <sighs> okay. 
Let's get that. Um, there. I should be able to figure out a halfway decent house design with just using Aspen and Thatch. No promises, but hopefully. At the very least, oops. At the very least, I can at least get some walls up, and at the moment, that's gonna have to be good enough. <laughs> now, can I make a thatch? Yeah, I can make a thatch, um, thingy-jig. <laughs> Ultra specific. Okay, I think if I do... Forgot about that bit. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> okay. Let's get our thatch back. So, it really is going to have to be just the ceiling. Or maybe a wall. Primarily just the ceiling, though. A little bit of a shame, to be honest. But I am glad that thatch is no longer the ultimate, perfect, amazing block that it was. It was, honestly, probably the strongest block in the game, just based off of how cheap it was and how useful it was, because thatch never really went away as a useful wood, or, wow, useful material. <laughs> okay, so if you have it on like that, it's okay. And um, you just have that. Oops. Um. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Not entirely sure what happened there. It just the Aspen forgot how to log, apparently. Okay. Let's do this. And there we have a super shady beginner house. <laughs> there. Perfect. Nothing will ever go wrong with this house. <sighs> you done yet down there? No. Okay. I will come back when you're ready to do a little bit more exciting stuff. Well, they should all be done. I apologize for the rain. I try not to record with the rain going, but well, there's not really too much of a choice right now. Oh, crud. <laughs> the bronze reset solidified. Great. Empty. Solid. I actually haven't messed around with this at all before, but supposedly this is basically mobile storage for everything. Um, hey, we can put vessels in a vessel, kinda. Can I put... Hmm. Don't need the quartzite on hand. I wonder if I can... Huh. I wonder if... Can I break this and... Okay, so everything pops back out. Maybe? No? Is there anything in there? Because I'm not seeing where it all dropped if it's not. Empty. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm dumb. <laughs> Okay, so maybe I have to hit seal. I guess that probably makes sense. Thinking about it, you know. <laughs> okay, put those in there. Actually, let's make sure those stay out. Gosh dang it, I'm a little 
sad that I see. Okay. I get ya. Okay, so now I just have to undo my mistake. <laughs> Let's get some granite on the bar. Let's get some granite knives. I'll get this eventually, guys. <laughs> Alright. Let's grab one, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Do we have enough random pieces of wood? No, I didn't think so. Well, the rain finally stopped. Still get to wait for this, though. This time around, I'm going to have this be my... Okay. For a second, I thought it started to break just by me hitting it with that. That would have been a little weird. <laughs> but still get to wait for that again. <laughs> oh well. Mistakes happen. Which, yeah. I actually uh, recently... Recent events. Vex recently released episode 7 or something like that of UHC and there's a bunch of people really mad at him because he chucked an egg at uh, one of his team members. Eggs don't do damage and in vanilla I'm pretty sure they don't have knockback. I mean feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. In fact please do because I again I don't play that much vanilla <laughs> but Hey. Okay. Um, anyways. <laughs> In vanilla, there's no real knockback from eggs. So, in vanilla, it's perfectly fine to do that. But, well, his team member was on a cliff, took half of his, took half of his life, and a bunch of people are up in arms like, Oh my gosh, he's just such a horrible person. And it's like, really? I don't know. I've always been of the mind that if it's a mistake or someone someone cannot control, you don't need to get mad at them about it. A lot of the time, people people are their highest and strongest critic. I mean, I've ugh. I've seen a lot of times where someone just absolutely rips into someone and it's like, dude, the guy's already feeling awful about what he did. You don't, you don't need to keep at it. And I guess that's one of those morality quirks that I have. I just, I can't stand bringing someone down who's already down on themselves. You know what I mean? instantly grassed clay but anyways I'll try and keep the tangents like that to a little bit smaller than in my spellbound caves <laughs> I rewatch or I've rewatched quite a few of those episodes and I well I mean I I really should I did I think that's kind of what you need to do to get better at my er, wow YouTube but, anyways, you know, I feel like I went on a lot more tangents than I should have <laughs> at points anyway. Although, well, I don't know. The YouTubers I personally enjoy watching, almost all of them go on really long and silly tangents, and it's like, eh, you know, I, I kind of enjoy it, so... I guess I should just, you know, be myself and, you know, if you enjoy the cha tangents, hey, welcome. Hi, my channel's here. <laughs> and if you don't enjoy the channel, or the chat, uh, uh, uh <laughs> the tangents, there we go. I mean, no, my channel might just not be for you. Okay, so there's no extra clay there. Plenty of extra clay over here, though. 
kind of wish. Mm. No. Ah. Oh, and the reason why we're getting more clay right now is I kind of want another one of the jars. One of the big ones. Large vessels. That thing. <laughs> and seeing as we're already waiting on one thing to finish smelting, I might as well get something else going. Although, thankfully, these are not going to be time sensitive. <laughs> because, yeah. I'm no good at getting time sensitive things. <laughs> okay. What do I got to drop? I can reconvert thatch into straw. What are these? Kellandula. Best I can do for pronunciation. If that's wrong, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> but you can at least pick these up for decorative purposes. <sighs> okay. Now let's get back and make sure that bronze hasn't already solidified on us, because with my luck, it's solidified like three times over. <laughs> Although, no, we have a seriously really nice area. And just so you know, I am going to keep on saying that for the first, like, 20 episodes here. <laughs> I really like this area. You done yet? No, of course. Alright, let's drop the vessel back in there. Anything we can drop or pick up or do anything with? We can grab that. And where is... Oh, I just lost the clay back. There. Some straw. Fetch. And I can walk through. And I'm really hoping this doesn't catch fire. <laughs> um, ooh, actually, I can just hide out inside of it. And, yeah, as soon as I hear the fire stop roaring, I will bring you guys back. Well, that was fast. <laughs> I literally hit, stopped recording and immediately heard the fire stop, so... Yeah, welcome back. <laughs> <sighs> and there's our pick. Calcolithic. Hmm. I haven't heard that term before, actually. Assuming it relates to Stone Age, because, well, or, um, Metal Age, because, well, I mean, that's roughly when I, or Metal Age is when I got that, so. I guess it makes sense. <sighs> okay. Got some extra room now. And also have. Our first bronze pick. Just in time. Actually, let's get a saw. Awesome. Uh, can we actually do one more thing before I sign out? This produces eight. Ah, we'll be good. I oh, love how maple looks. There we go. Okay, so now I feel like we've actually done something this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you know, enjoy. You know, I guess, you know, do whatever you want to, f whatever you feel this episode deserves. If you feel like it deserves a dislike, go for it. Either way, hope you had a great day. Hope you have a great day from now on. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.